hello youtube and welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to convert your log or raw footage to rec 709 using davinci resolve so why rec 709 rec 709 is a color space for hdtv it's a fast way to pop your flash footage for quick jobs because it produces images that are more realistic with good contrast and saturation so without further ado let's get started So the first thing you want to make sure you do is to set up your timeline and you know set it the way you want and the next thing is to go to settings and select color management. Uh, change your color size from DaVinci YRGB to DaVinci YRGB color managed and click OK. Then you change your resolve color management preset from SDRX 709 to custom. This would allow us to select uh, different uh, camera profiles. So then you change your input color space to the profile of your camera. In my own case, it's Black Magic Design. And um, I use Gen 5. So I'm going to select Black Magic Design Film Gen 5, which is really cool. All right. Then after that, you want to change your timeline color space to rec 709 and also make sure that your output color space sets to rec 709 you want to make sure that your limit output gamut is set to output color space you know which is really really important then i always change my input drt to luminous mapping and output to saturation preserving then i change my saturation rule of start to 1000 nits then i say okay all right so that is it it's very simple and um, if you really want to do more you can actually pop the image by working on the saturation you know and also enhancing the the colors to make it pop more depending on what you want so it's a really quick way and for the sony the same thing you just go to your settings and change your color science to DaVinci YRGB color managed and change your resolve color management preset to custom. Change your input color space to, you know, S log 3, which is what I shoot on. Ensure that your timeline color space is set to Rec 709 and the output space is set to Rec 709. Also, change, make sure your limit uh, output gamut is retained to what it is and uh, input DRT is set to. Luminous mapping and output DRT is set to saturation preserving. And I change that to 500 and I click OK and just like that, it came out really nice. And you know, this process makes your workflow faster. But the thing is that if you have issue with the way you shot your content, probably you have an, um, a bad white balance settings and all of that, then even when you use this process, you may still need to do some little tweaks on your on your jobs to make sure it's really nice and you have to consider the lightning environment you are exposed to so in my own case here i try to actually work on you know my my colors and make sure that my color is real and uh, i discovered that red was actually in excess which is what i actually tried to bring down to match the rest this was just a quick job but this is actually give you an you know insight in what color grading is really about and color correction is really about you know it helps you and it gives you a better understanding of how it works so if you love this video and you want to see more please subscribe to my youtube channel and um, if you have any question or you have a suggestion feel free to put it in the comment section you're welcome to express your opinion and view and uh, like i said uh, we all learn and um, you can learn from anywhere so if you have a better way to get this done, kindly share it and let's all learn from it. So thank you very much for staying around and thank you for coming by today. See you next week and bye for now. Mm -hmm.